The American Dream James Turslow Adams created the term in his 1931 book, The Epic of America. He believes that life should be better and richer, fuller for everyone, with opportunity for each according to ability or achievement. The United States Declaration of Independence states that all men are created equal and they are entitled to certain rights, including the pursuit of happiness. In the book, The Catcher in the Rye, by J.D. Salinger, the main character and narrator, 17-year-old Holden Caulfield, believes in the American dream. He believes that life should be fun, and he shouldn't have to live under the rules but set by others. This is one of the reasons he gets kicked out of a few schools in his days as a student. The most recent one being Pensy Prep, a private school in Pennsylvania. Throughout the story, Holden goes out and lives on his own in New York City after being kicked out of school and attempts to have a good time. Although he's too young to drink alcohol, he can convince some servers that he's old enough due to his appearance. He goes out at night to bars and nightclubs and attempts to have some fun with a few ladies. He even ends up getting a prostitute, but he ends up telling her that all he wants to do is talk. She takes her money he owed her and leaves. During the book, Holden goes through a few mood swings. At some points, he would be having a lot of fun out on the town, and then he would start feeling alone and sad. Towards the end of the story, he goes home and talks to his sister. He tells her that he wants to be the catcher in the rye, meaning he wants to save children from growing up to become adults. He wants the kids to always stay as happy as they are. This metaphor can only be better understood, though, if you pick up the book, The Catcher in the Rye. I promise you it's a great read.